Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be creating a glass design in Figma. So uh, in this first part of the video we're going to be creating this design and then uh, on the next part of the video we're going to be coding the design in HTML and CSS. Okay, so let's get started with the design. Okay, so this is the main design that we're going to be creating in this video. It's not going to look the same because, uh, let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to create another frame. So here I'm just going to create a frame and then I'm going to give it a width of 1920 and then height is going to be 1080 as usual. All right. So how do we uh, sort of create this uh, nice background effect? To do that, we're just going to uh, get a bunch of uh, ellipses. Okay, uh, here's the first one and then I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, just give this some colors. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the effects and then I'm going to uh, add an effect. So this one is, is going to have um, layer blur and then I'm going to increase that to something crazy like 350 or something like that or even more. All right. So now we have a nice blur and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm, I'm sorry for the sirens because uh, I live in the central Okay, so now I'm going to add another effect. So this one is going to be uh, same as, actually it's going to be layer blur, no drop shadow, layer blur. And then I'm going to increase this to uh, another value like this. And then I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'll, I'll change the color to something different. Uh, something like, I don't know, like this color here. And then I'm going to get another uh, circle and then I'll do the same and then I'm going to add an effect layer blur and then I'm going to increase that to a high number and then I'm going to uh, change the color to a different color let me see if I have a nice color so I'm going to change the color I'm going to look for a nice color Okay, so the colors are up to you. All right, so now just increase the whole thing. And then I'm going to duplicate this. Then I'll put it somewhere here. Okay, something like that. And then I'm going to draw another shape. It's going to be a square. Actually, not, not a square, a rectangle. It's going to uh, cover this whole thing. So this rectangle, we can put it to white. And then let's reduce the opacity. So when we're reducing the opacity, oh, something, I reduced the wrong opacity. Okay, so we want this rectangle, right? Okay, so I'm going to uh, gradually increase the opacity. Okay, to create that glassy effect. Okay. So I think I will leave it on uh, 78, but we can uh, manipulate these shapes. We can even change the colors of these shapes, okay? To whatever colors that you you want. And then we have this uh, effect, okay? So I cannot recreate the, the one I did here before, okay? It's, it's, it's just random, so it's not easy to recreate, so you can uh, make something uh, completely random. So now uh, we're going to create a, another rectangle like this. So this will be the container of our content. I'm just going to copy the values here. For the width, I'm just going to paste uh, the values from here. And then the height, copy. And then I'll paste the values and then we can have the same uh, width, width and height from here. Okay, all right, so what about this one? So this one is just going to be a linear gradient. So linear, I'm going to oops, move this around. Okay, so the starting color, I'm just going to, oh, not the ending color, the starting one. I'm just going to make it white. I'll increase the opacity. So it's going to start at white. And then this one, I want it to end something like, 
a bit of I think hold on let me look for the colors it's this one or something like this yep and then reduce the opacity a little bit okay so this one I'll reduce to make it a little bit darker okay and then I'm going to we're going to modify this don't worry uh, we're going to give this a stroke and then I'm going to do five pixels did I do five on this one yeah five pixels and then change the color to white okay so here go to the linear linear I'm looking for this one the opacity just to make it more white okay so if you want a different color uh, I can copy this linear I've used before so this is the one I'm using so we have a bit of whitish color and then the other one is the white color with 30% uh, opacity okay I'm going to copy that uh, this linear can remember how to copy this <laughs> the value I'll copy the fill and then I'm going to paste it here I don't know what I just did but anyway never mind uh, it didn't paste so we're gonna have to make this manually okay yeah you can find the values that you see fit and then what you're gonna do is just uh, activate the grid the grid system and then go to layout grid in here just put the grid and then um, oops here layout uh, grid C click the frame and then go to the grid here here click the grid and then go to the columns and then increase this count to whatever values you want okay so in this case I'm going to do 20 okay so this is gonna give us a, like a gu guideline okay so uh, I'm going to put a bit of let me check the width and height so the width 49 and 6 height so width width is going to be 49 49 pixels and then the height is going to be 6 pixels okay and then we're going to give it a border radius and then we're going to duplicate this duplicate more one more time oops duplicate one more time and then uh, just decrease the width okay and then control to control and click to uh, mark everything and then control G to duplicate no, no not to duplicate I mean to group everything <laughs> okay so now that everything is grouped we're going to give this a color of flash 333 okay I want it to be darker okay and then I'll put it somewhere up here okay and then um, here I'm just going to uh, edit text okay so I'll just copy this text uh, text so make sure you're leaving one uh, one column for spacing okay so here I'm just going to put that we're going to align everything later don't worry and then I'm just going to copy one of these uh, text items here okay so home and then I'm going to duplicate this uh, and then we're going to do uh, shop shop and then duplicate and then we do categories after that so shift to make sure it stays in same line categories after that and then we have the about about so make sure you uh, group these texts here for the navigation group okay so now I'm going to align this on the, like this on the center and then I'm going to align this too 
Okay, so make sure there's equal space between. Okay, so if you put this, it's going to align on the center. And then I'm going to uh, highlight everything and then Control G to group. And then now we can hide this grid. Okay, so there it is. We're gonna need to we might need to change the background. Okay, so now uh, the actually we need to change the colors of these. So the color is going to be high three three, like that. Okay, so now this is the active, uh, active, active class. So now we're going to. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm running out of battery already. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about this. this is my my first time, you know, doing a video, so I wasn't really prepared for it. <laughs> I'm running out of battery. I'm looking here. I'm seeing like it's blinking. Okay, so now what I'm going to do. I need to do this quick before it, it shuts down. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a circle, a circle here. So make sure the circle aligns with our nav. Okay. Okay. Make sure it aligns like that. And then I'm just going to uh, copy an image and then I'll, I'll paste it here. Ah, turns out, I don't know why it co copied a square. A rectangle. Oh man. Okay, I'm just going to copy this image again. Control C and Control V. Okay, there it is. So I'm just going to put this image at the top. Okay, like so. All right. So now I'm going to change the background color of this to something. You can change it to anything you want, really. Okay, so I'm just going to put a, uh, this pink light color. I don't know if it's pink or not. Yeah, but I'm just going to, put, to do that. And then here, we're just going to do a title. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay, so make sure it aligns uh, in the center. Okay, so here I'm using uh, Newton, the font, and then it's, it's bold. Okay, so I'm just going to copy one of these duplicate and put it down here and then I'm going to uh, take it out of the group and put it on the top I'm going to change the text from home to explore more okay explore more some something here and then I'm just going to take a shape an arrow and then I'm just going to put an arrow so shift to go in, in a straight line if you hold shift Okay, so and also this arrow is going to have a this color here, same as the text. Okay, all right, so now we've uh, explore more, so make sure it looks the same as here. So this one is a bit more bold actually. So it's set 24, 24 semi bold, and then we're going to change it to bold. Okay, and then we're going to center this. All right, so now we have a button, highlight everything and then control G to group. Okay, so now we just need a bit of text. Uh, duplicate this, put it up here. And then uh, what else do we have? New season, sorry. New season 2021. All right. So and then I'm just going to put this somewhere up here. Okay, so this one, I'm just going to increase the line height a little bit. Control G, uh, Control, actually shift to uh, shift click to highlight and then Control G to group. Okay, so make sure it aligns with our nav. Okay, so there it is. So what we need to do now is just to change the background color to something more like, uh, okay, so something more like this and then reduce the opacity a little bit. Oops. Okay.
give it a more a little bit of white color and then reduce the opacity a little bit and then here so this one is a bit darker not completely white so same as here okay so if i click this uh, this background here this linear so this is a white color oh, it's actually completely white and then the opacity is just turned down a little bit so let's go and do that so linear and then this one is going to be white and then we just turn down the opacity okay so it blends with the background a little bit okay so yeah now it's blending with, with our background because we reduced the opacity so now we can see a little bit of our background okay uh, make sure also make sure that this uh, circle and image circle and image it aligns with our nav navigation okay all right yeah that's it for this uh, that's it for this video I'll see you on the next one this was just an experiment to uh, test the camera equipment but I ran out of battery as you can see it's blinking uh, at, at the top so next time I'll, I'll be more prepared for it let me know what you think uh, I've missed something we need to put a shadow on the main container so when we put a shadow it's going to look much better so let's go ahead and do that so click the main container and then go to effects and then I'm going to drop shadow and then I'm going to go on the Y increase the Y value and then just increase the blur Okay, and then maybe decrease this Y a little bit. I mean, put it to three. Okay, so the shadow, we have so much play and then just reduce the opacity to something like 15%. So now, yeah, it looks way better with a shadow rather than without a shadow. So it's up to you to use a shadow. Actually, we also miss something. Uh, we need some controllers just in case if you are making a full page like if you scroll down it's going to scroll as a full page so I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to give a bit of space uh, here so here I'm just going to go to the ellipse and then I'm going to do a circle and then I'm going to, to give this color and then I'm going to duplicate uh, duplicate Oh, I duplicate the color I need to duplicate the shape okay and then I'm going to give it a few color of white actually none and then the stroke it's going to be this color here yeah the few I think is better to put it to white and then duplicate not the color but the shape duplicate this all right so now copy this and group everything Ctrl G to group so make sure it aligns on the center as well as well as uh, aligning with our with our navigation okay so now I'll take this and then put it back like so okay yeah so now we should I mean you can reduce I don't know what this shape is about so but no don't worry about it so now we can just reduce the we can put push it a bit more here okay, and then give it a bit of more spacing okay so now yeah make sure these controls are nicely centered and everything yeah will look will look good okay I think uh, that was it for this update and then I'll see you in the next one